glory. Yes. Oh, you are the head over oh, principality. Yes, you are the head over oh, power. You are the head over oh, rulers. You are the master, master of the universe. Oh, you are the master, master of the universe. After all. After all. A global amen. This is the day we have been waiting for. The Lord is here to bless us. A louder amen. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. Unforgettable encounter with the God of wonders. Wonders will never cease in our lives. Shortly, let's open our Bible very uh, quickly. By his grace, we believe that God will do great things for us. Job chapter 9, I'm reading at verse 10. Quickly. Job 9 at verse 10. Talking about the Almighty God. Which do it great things past finding out. Look at it. Yea, 
and wonders without numbers. Everybody shout, wonders without numbers. All over the globe, wonders without numbers. God Almighty, we stand by his word, and we will experience this very verse in this crusade starting today, till Tuesday, in Jesus' name. A louder amen. amen. Shall we rise up together as we pray to the God of wonders. Our Father, we want to thank you, we want to bless your holy name. This is the day we are all be waiting for. We are grateful unto you for the gift of life, for sparing us to see today and to experience today. I pray all you have in mind from the foundation of the world that you want to do, nothing will hinder it. We will not hinder it. Lord, your power will move unrestrained, unrestricted in Jesus' name. In your word, you have told us that you will do wonders without numbers, countless wonders, countless miracles all over the world in Jesus' name. Things past finding out you will accomplish in our lives. Everywhere we are gathered now at the Alpha location and other location or individually in our homes or in other places we are hooked up with this program wonders without numbers thank you lord because we know you have answered you are prepared our father and the lord great will be the explosion of miracle salvation deliverances will be our portion Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let the people of God say, Amen. That is great. We want to sing. Have you got it, the program? Wave it at me, let me see. Oh, beautiful. The Lord bless you. Let's look at page two. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. Why others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Let me at the throne of mercy find a sweet relief, kneeling there in deep contrition, help my unbelief. Trusting only in the marriage, will I seek thy face, heal my wounded, broken spirit, save me by thy grace. Thou the spring of all my comfort, more than life to me, whom have I on earth beside thee, whom in heaven but thee. The Lord will help us. Savior, Savior, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by.
Praise the name of the Lord. We shall remain standing as we go to the Lord in prayer. We are in the session of prayer for the nations. We want to thank God for the global inception of GCK, the global introduction of GCK. A lot has happened from the inception, from the beginning. We want to thank God and appreciate him for what he has done. Souls that have been brought into the kingdom, sinners that have been saved, Believers that have been sanctified, the sick that have been healed, the oppressed that have been set free, signs and wonders we have heard of, we have seen, we have touched, we have experienced. Let's give God the praise. I say exalt the name of our God for the global inception of GCK. Give him the glory. Honor him. Let's show him that we are grateful for what he's doing, what he has done, and what he will yet do. Let's exalt and magnify the name of our God. Open your mouth and praise the name of our God. I say praise the name of our God. Exalt him. Magnify him. In Jesus' mighty name. But number two, global icon. God has always picked a man. He has always sought and picked a man. He picked up Abraham and he said to him, Through you, I will bless all the families of the world, all the nations of the world. It pleased God to pick our Father and the Lord, the Covenant of GCK, at this time as a global icon. For these same purpose, we want to pray that the Lord will magnify him more than ever before in Jesus' name. Remember what he told to Joshua in Joshua chapter 3, verse 7. He said, I will from this day magnify you before Israel. As I was with Moses, I will be with you. God has raised this convener, the man of God, up for this season to magnify him before the world. Not just before Israel or a small group of people, but globally. We want to pray that even that access to the hearts and the homes of men will be magnified. Remember the GCK Daily is going out on all platforms, social media platforms. We want that to be able to move ar across the world and touch nooks and corners, nations, cities, communities all over the world, more than we have seen it before. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. But there's a global intention, and that is to fulfill the word in Matthew chapter 24, verse number 14. 
He said this gospel will be preached in all the world, in all the nations of the world, for a witness, and then the end will come. That's what we're asking at this time, that this gospel of Christ will be preached in every nation in the name of Jesus Christ. There are nations that are facing wars. There are nations that have been close to the gospel work in the, in the time past. But now we want the rich to be global. Every nation, every people, every community. The word of God cannot be bound. Therefore, more than what we have seen before, we will see in the coming months, in the coming years. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. That leads us to global impact. The preaching, the teaching, the outreaches have brought impact onto the entire world. And we want that impact to get to the next level. Right at this time and in the months ahead. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and talk to God. We have seen a lot of impact. We have seen the salvation of souls. We have seen the restoration of backsliders. We have seen and heard of churches being planted in many, in many places, many nations of the world. That's the impact we are talking about. We want more about that. We want more about that. We want more about that. As we go on from month to month, from city to city, from state to state, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name, we're going to global inferno. Inferno means fire. There's a fire of revival that is going on globally right now. We don't want to slow down. We don't want it to be sidetracked. We don't want it to be divided. We don't want it to, you know, to be limited in any form or shape at all. We want the fire to burn. I said the fire to burn, the fire of revival. In the name of Jesus, that's what you're talking to God about right now. That this inferno, this fire of revival will continue burning across the nations of the world. In the name of Jesus, there were revivals in the time past. We heard about Azusa revival and revivals in other nations and other parts of the nations. Uh, in time past, in generations past, this is the end time revival. And we want the Lord to magnify it, the fire to fire up even more than ever before and to get to everywhere that has not been reached before. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name, that leads us to global inclusion. We want the barriers of religion to be broken. We want the barriers of culture to be broken. We want the barriers of nationality to be broken. That's what we're talking about, global inclusion of everyone, all peoples, all nations, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and talk to God. This is the reach of the GCK breaking down barriers, reaching where have not been reached before. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. That leads us to point number seven, what I call global induction into the hall of fame. The word talks about the hall of fame, about famous people, but if your name is not in the book of life, you won't be able to make it to heaven. We are talking about people who are coming into the kingdom through the GCK, but who will be established, planted in the church, and also prepared for heaven. If you look at the book of uh, Daniel chapter 12, it's talking about the people that know their gods, that will do exploit, but it's talking about also the resurrection of the dead, in the, in, in the time to come, some to shame, some to uh, indignation, to contempt, to, you know, destruction in hellfire. But there is also the resurrection unto life everlasting. And those that are wise, that turn many to righteousness, who will be shining like stars in heaven. That's what, that's what we mean by induction into the hall of fame. We are praying that as the people come in, they are discipled, they are established, and they are taught on the way of holiness to make it to heaven eventually. In Jesus' mighty name, as we are beginning to round up, we might even throw in another word, which is global inspiration. God has raised our Father in the Lord as a global inspiration to other ministers. 
want to pray for all the other ministers at the Alpha location, at satellite locations, at every nook and corner of the world, that the same grace, same power, same anointing, same focus that is upon the servant of the Lord, the covenant, will be upon all the ministers in the name of Jesus Christ. God has also given him a global vision, a global mandate, a global mentality. We are praying for all the ministers anywhere in the world to go beyond local mentality traditional mentality, religious mentality, to look at the world as a global village to be rich with the gospel in the name of Jesus. Father, lay your hand upon every one of us, O oh God, that the same power, same anointing, same unction, same gifts of the Spirit, same focus that is upon your servant will be upon all of us, ministers of the gospel, in the name of Jesus. Somebody got to plant the church in that country. Somebody got to raise up the disciples and disciple people. Somebody got to do all the work that is needed in every nation all over the world. Let it be so, O oh God, that you raise up these ministers like your servant, that we all follow him as he follows Christ. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Another global amen. Praise the Lord. Your hallelujah, look, look like a Saba. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. We are indeed glad, we are delighted that this program eventually has come to pass. Praise the Lord. I want to announce to you that our beloved and dear Father and the Lord is in the house. Is that the much you can greet our Father and the Lord? We are happy, sir, that you are come. God bless you, sir. Praise the Lord. Also, our mother in the Lord. Wonderful. Mommy, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Everybody shout wonders without numbers. The Lord will do through our Father and the Lord in Jesus' name. This is just the first day of this program. We are just starting. Tomorrow till Tuesday, heaven will be open upon everyone. Not just here in the Alpha location, all over the world. We shall hear resounding testimony that people will hear and say, this is God. It shall be so in Jesus' name. So by the grace of God, we are coming here again 5 o'clock tomorrow. But you are to tell other people that we are started. Bring your neighbors and friends, and all those that have challenges, this is our time, and the Lord will do wonders in their lives in Jesus' name. So every evening, we are continuing here by five. By the grace of God, for the ministers of God that are here, and in other places, we're having the ministers and professional forum conference tomorrow at the event center, those of us in the Alpha location, and those of us who came up in other places, the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. So every other minister that are here, you are invited to that wonderful conference that will be starting tomorrow morning by 7 in the morning. Just adjacent this place, the event center. Praise the Lord. There are some dignitaries that have come. We just want to recognize them briefly. We have a Professor Andy Ugoshuku, the Vice Chancellor of Delta State University, ably represented by Stephen Osahon Waifo. You are welcome, sir. We also have Bishop Dave Iowe, Chairman PFN Oshemili South Local Government. You are welcome, sir. 
He has been of great, tremendous help to us in our planning and preparation. Uh, we also have Reverend Daiwe Francis. is the PFN chairman. He is worried about local government. You are also welcome, sir. We have a special uh, senior uh, apostle, Wang Kuo Mark of Khan, also from Wari South Local Government. We have Bishop Francis Okori, is Khan, also Uvie Local Government. You are welcome. We also have uh, Mr. Regina Bayoke, Head of Service, Delta State. You are welcome. We also have Professor Kletu Sabulime, Dean of Faculty, Physical Sciences at Brusali University, Ekpoma Eduse. You are welcome, sir. As other names will be coming in, we'll be recognizing them at God will help us. All others, if we are not mentioning you, you are welcome in Jesus' name. A louder amen. amen. Let them hear your voice all over the world. Right, we have choir ministration from the nations. You know, many, many years ago, our guest minister at this crusade, a marvelous singer, songwriter, wrote a song that touched numerous lives all across the world and ushered in a wave of true revival from Australia to Africa, from Brazil to the Bahamas, and from the sea to the shining sea. In the song entitled, Our Heart, Bob Fitz wrote, Our hearts, our desire is to see the nations worship you. Our cry, our prayers is to sing your praise to the ends of the earth, that with one mighty voice, every tribe and tongue rejoices. Our hearts, our desire is to see the nations worship you. Well, today on this first day of the Global Crusade, that songs find joyous fulfillment as we present to you songs from the nations. I'm sure you will be blessed.
Is that the much we can clap for Jesus? Wonderful. Everybody shout wonders without numbers. That will be our experience in Jesus' name. As we proceed in the program, we want to listen to just a testimony as a foretaste of what God is going to do in our lives. So we have the testimony now, the testifier. Praise the Lord. I am Dr. Adeni Yubalogun, a medical doctor general practitioner. I have with me here Sister Juliet Rukegu. She has a wonderful testimony. Please listen attentively. Praise wow. the Lord. By the special grace of God, I'm born again. And I'm Juliet Ukebu from Deco District, Deco Group, Wari, Region, Delta State, Nigeria. Here today, I want to thank God for his miracle in my life. Nine months after my wedding, I had two miscarriages and it was not easy. It was a painful one. Then 31st December, 2021, I held hands with my husband and we prayed and we told God enough of miscarriage. After the prayers, January, I took in and we went for scan. It was confirmed that I was pregnant of twin. Now, three months into the pregnancy, I lost one of the babies. It was painful, but then I thank God because one was still alive. And I told God, I don't want to miscarry this baby. No matter what the devil wants to do, I'm not going to lose this baby. I'm going to carry her to you full time. And as God may have it, September 21st, I gave birth to my baby. Now, during my pregnancy, I was scanned and they said I had fibroid. Uh, but the doctor didn't want me to be scared, so he said it was a minor one. Nevertheless, I talked to God in prayers and I told God, I want this problem to be solved by him. Now, during September, GCK, our father in the Lord said that the theme of the program was the God of, sorry, the God of, all impossibilities, yes, that was the team. Now, with this team, I told God there is nothing he cannot do. Everything that seems impossible in my life, he should rule them away. Then 21st after my delivery, five days after delivery, in the morning, I went to the bathroom to ease myself, only to start feeling a kind of contraction, as if I wanted to deliver again, as if I wanted to put to bed, brethren, only for me to just look down and I saw the fibro. The fibro just fall off on its own. <laughs> to the God of all impossibilities, I say may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Our case is a case we call in medical parlance, recurrent spontaneous abortion, which could be occasioned by some abnormality in the womb, cervical incompetence, uh, fibroid, uteri, septic uterus, and many more, or some genetic incompatibility in the corpus. But the Lord God will work wonder. Without the surgeon's knife, remove the fibroid, and here is the baby. Praise the Lord! Everybody shout the God of wonders. Your own is coming in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. We now have the Alpha location. Your testimony, you are the next one online. Say, I'm the next one online. We'll never escape you in Jesus' name. Be quiet now. Thank you. 
God is here, is the God of wonders, is doing wonders, without number, draw near to him, your mission is made, his miracle told, you'll never forget. God is here, is the God of wonders, is doing wonders, without number, draw near to him, your only shall be made, his miracle touch, you'll never forget. Seek, he gives 
through his mercies, compassion, love, and grace, you can have his divine encounter, his invitation, and his love. Come now, embrace. God is here. God is here. God is here. He's the God of wonders. Praise the Lord. You surely must have had different encounters in life. Some of them pleasant and some not too pleasant. This month of January 2023, you are.